Good morning, everyone. I'm going to make a presentation on Guanan culture and civic education of the colonial period from 23rd March 1897 to 1st July 18, 1962. Let's see some data. October 1884 to February 1885, Berlin Conference. Africa has been shared among European powers, especially France and England. May 1894, Court Count von Gotzen, General Governor of German Eastern Africa, Tanganyika, came to Rwanda on 4th May 1894, accompanied by a caravan of 362 people, including 127 well-armed soldiers. He was welcomed by King Kigerifo Gwawugiri on 29th of May 1894. And September 1895, death of King Kigerifo Gwawugiri, the 24th king. December 1896, tragic event of Ruchunchu and the death of the King Rutaringwa. 1897, February, enthronement of Musinga Yuhi V, 25th King. 1897, March 23rd, official German occupation by Hans Ramsey with German flag and accreditation letter given to the King Yuhi Musinga's cousin and representative Hamarugamba. February 1900, arrival in Rwanda of the Catholic Congregation of White Fathers, headed by Bishop G. Hart, founder of the first Catholic mission at Save in Huye district in 1900. And then at Zaza, the same year, Nyundo, 1091. Mibirizi, 193. Gwaza, 193. Kabgai, 195. Rurindo, 198. Rambura, 1910. And then Kigari, 1912. 1906 to 1916, German colonization establishes indirect administration regime the traditional power was maintained 1907 november 15th dr richard khan was appointed as imperial resident to rwanda 1910 14th of may delimitation of borders when the kingdom of rwanda lost their whole regions of Ubufumbira in Uganda, Gisha, Gishari, and Idgui in Democratic Republic of Congo. From 1914 to 1918, the First World War. 1916, June 16th, German defeat and the occupation of Rwanda Urundi by Belgium. 1916 to 1962, July 1st. Belgian colonization. 1926 to 1930. During these four years, there was the period of important political administrative reform planned and applied by Belgian colonial authority in order to change totally the structures of the country. That reform was applied in details by the Belgian resident governor Mothan and the Catholic bishop Leo Klaas. The fundamental elements of those reforms were the first, abolition of the trilogy of traditional power, the chiefs of pastures, the chiefs of lands, and the chiefs of armies were dismissed by Belgian colonial authority. The king was deprived of his real power. 
he was under the Belgian Residence Authority. The demobilization of all the Gwandan Armed Forces, the new territorial limitation in order to forget the old political administrative organizations. Five, introduction of ethnic ideology, training of auxiliaries to Belgian authorities selected only from Tutsi families of colonial obedience and candidates to Catholic baptism. 1931, November 12, the, the, mis the dismissal of King Yuhi V Musinga and his banishment to Kamembe in Rusizi district. 1931, November 16th, the nomination and not enthronement of King Mutara III Rudahigwa without any esoteric code keeper, any symbol of kingship, and without any presence of Mother Queen. From 1934 to 1935, officialization or institutionalization of ethnic ideology with general census of the whole Gwandan population and giving of identity card with ethnic mention, Hutu, Tutsi, or Twa. Each person having 10 or more cows was identified as Tutsi. 1940, June 20th, transfer of King Yuhi V Musinga from Kamembe to Moba in the, in the Kong, Congo, where he died in prison in unclear circumstances on 22nd November 1944. 1943, October 17th, in order to keep his power, King Mutara III Rudaigwa finally accepted to be baptized and took the first name of Charis Leo Pierre. 1946, December 13th, Gwanda was placed under UN Trust Territory in conformity to UN General Assembly's approval. 1954, King Mutara III Rudahigwa abolished obligatory work, Uretwa, and beatings, Ikiwoko, and introduced, which was introduced and imposed by the Belgian colonial authority. He suppressed, he suppressed Ubuhake and Ukonde systems. Each Rwandan kept his properties. 1955, Bishop de Primos replaced by Bishop André Perode. 1956, creation of scholarship fund called the Mudara, Mutara Sri Rudahigwa Fund. 1957, March 24th, under the influence of Bishop André Perode, a document entitled Bahutu Manifest was elaborated about administrative monopoly by Tutsi. 1959, February, creation of the party Aprosoma, Association pour la Promotion Sociale de la Masse. April 29th, King Mutaraldo Higua's speech to CSP, Conseil Superior du Pays, or High Council of the Country. It was in French, and he said, Je pense pouvoir vous assurer, Monsieur le Président, que le Rwanda désire participer largement à la gestion de ses propres affaires et prendre le plus rapidement possible la direction de ses destinées. Je souhaite que la Belgique nous comprenne et nous aide à réaliser un Rwanda fraternel et prospère. If we translate in English, it is, I think, I may assure you, Mr. President, that if Gwanda wishes to participate in a large extent to the management of its affairs and to take as soon as possible the direction of its destiny. I wish that Belgium would understand and help us 
to develop a prosperous and brotherly Gwanda. In his research, Muzungu says that the deep political changes that occurred in Gwanda in 1959 were the plan of Belgian tutelage. The truth is that they didn't want to give independence to nationalists led by King Mutara III Rudaigwa. That is why they fought them through Parmehutu party. Open conflict between the King Mutara Rudahigwa and Belgian authority. Open conflict between King Mutara Rudahigwa and the Catholic Church represented by Bishop Andre Perode. July 25th, mysterious death of the King Mutara Rudahigwa in 1959 in Bushumbura. July 28th, the king's burial at Mnima, Nyanza district. Population's refusal to bury the king before they knew his successor, Rukeba Francois, who was a Hutu subject, proclaimed the Kigeri V under Hindurgwa, Jean Baptiste, and this was against the Belgian colonial authorities' will. September, creation of the party, Rade. Rassemblement Democratique Rwande with Chief Prosper Gwanakweri. Creation of the party UNAR, Union Nationale Rwandaise, a monarchist party led by Francois Rukewa, who was Hutu subject, with Michel Gwagasana, Hutu as well, a general secretary, cousin to Gregoire Kaiwanda, president of Parme Hutu. Party. October, creation of Parmehutu, Parti du Mouvement d'Emancipation Hutu, with President Gregoire Kaiwanda. November 1st, because of the pretext that some elements of Tutsi youth beat Mbonimutkwa, one of the Parmehutu leaders, the revolution, massacres, or simple, the beginning of the genocide, have broken out against all the Tutsi living in the country. Notabene, revolution is defined as a radical change of political power and its replacement by a new revolutionary power. In 1959, the Belgian authority, who had all the political power, was not troubled. Genocide is a systematic extermination of human group because of their ethnic, regional, and religious racial identity. 1961, 25th September, legislative elections, victory of Parmehutu, abolition of monarchy, and the proclamation of the Republic in Gitarama. July 1st, 1962, Proclamation of National Independence, the Belgian authority is replaced by the new Republic government. Let's see the negative aspects of the colonial period from 23rd March 1897 to 1st July 1962. First, destruction of Gwandan State Nation. Amputation of an important part of Rwandan territory, or the part of northern Dorgwa, Bufumbira, were handed over to British, to British Empire, the part beyond volcanoes, Ruchuru, Mushari, Goma, Masisi, a part of Karehe, were attached to the Re Democratic Republic of Congo. Amputation of Rwandan population living in these regions mentioned above. Second, abolition of political administrative unity. The abolition of trilogy of power. Chiefs of pastors, chiefs of lands, and chiefs of armies. Dismissal of all the charismatic traditional chiefs from Hutu to Tsantkwa. Abolition of king's power. Three, Progressive division of Gwandan people, introduction of ethnic ideology 
officialized in 1934 by giving identity cards containing the ethnic mentions Hutu Tutsantwa, creation of Hamite myth, creation of Bantu myth. The kings deprived from the political power. He was under the Belgian residence authority. He was banished to Kanmembe and then transferred to Moba in Katanga in the Democratic Republic of Congo where he died. His son was never enthroned by no, but nominated by Belgian colonial authority. Destruction of clan solidarity and national conscience, the fourth negative aspect. Dismissal of patriarchs, chiefs of clans, division of clans by ethnic ideology, as well as Hamite and Bantu myth. Official defamation of Buhake and Wukonde institutions. Fifth, replacements of traditional values by anti-values. Ethnic hatred between Hutu and Tutsi. Lies and falsification of historical facts. Injustice, intolerance, and discrimination. Culture of violence and anti-values introduced by colonial authority. Public insults, whips, prisons, obligatory work, etc. Number six, the colonial economy. During colonial period, new crops, coffee, tea, in accordance to colonizers' needs, were introduced to detriment of local population farming. Large plots of sorghum, fields, etc., were transformed to coffee, tea, and plantations. Similarly, patches were transformed to coffee, tea, plantation, obviously. This caused the regular famine, such as Rumanura between 1916 to 1918 and Gwakaihura 1928 to 1929, which was responsible for about 8,000 deaths. Number seven, abolition of conflict resolution by Gachacha. This traditional resolution of conflict was replaced by the European justice with courts having the negative consequences, such as the hatred between the two parts is reinforced, aggravation of the conflict, the defeated part undergoes psychical, moral, and physical tortures, frustration, humiliation, whips, etc. Number eight, traditional education replaced by instruction. The instruction was full of falsification, ethnic ideology, division, and he wanted to form auxiliaries to Belgian colonial authority. Number nine, Ubuhake and Ubukonde institution was replaced by a savage system of fatigue duty, obligatory, and paid work, and whip. Private Rutazibga states that the damaging effect of colonial system, fatigue duty, whippings, etc., were attributed to Tutsi administrative auxiliaries. This one was obliged to obey faithfully the orders from Belgian administrator. Otherwise, he would be severely punished. Dear friends, I want to tell you that in each scientific research, we should show the positive as well as the negative aspects. Now let's see the positive values of the colonial period. Construction of roads. Unfortunately, this was not done in a good way. There was fatigue duties and the use of torture and whips. Building of offices. Introduction of some modern products, clothes, vehicles, shoes for some people. Introduction of writing and education for small group of people. Introduction of modern medicine. Uh, as we have seen, 
the Rwanda of colonial period, we see how the colonizers divided Rwandans for the purpose of divide and rule. Of course, they had experience of division between Waro and Flama in Belgium, and this was implemented even in Rwanda, which led to 1994 genocide against Tutsi. In the next presentation, we shall see the Rwanda of post-colonial period of First and the Second Republic. Thank you. Good day.